We are bringing you a special report from the Plush Show City News. This is Mr. Tom, reporting for a breaking news story. There has been a recent discovery on the eighth planet of the solar system named Neptune. What was found it was a rainbow rock that glows in outer space. Sources also reported that the rainbow rock can also shine out rainbow colors all around outer space. And what's more shocking and surprising is that six kids were the ones that find it. We will go out to our reporter, Mr. Eric, for more information and interviews. Thank you, Mr. Tom. I stand outside around some houses, including the one where the discovery was founded. This particular house behind me is where the rock was discovered. Reports saying that the six kids had traveled up to upper space to find out what the rock was. And the discovery has recently been talked about a lot of times, and it's been one of the top stories for a while now. We will now have our first interviewer, Bowser Jr. So, Jr., what do you think of this recent discovery? I feel like it's a pretty, pretty interesting discovery that Baby Shark and his friends had did. They worked their hardest to find out rock and to make this top story possible. Me and Bowser are very, very, very impressed with them. And I'm hoping they can make another discovery very soon. I hope. Interestingly. And that's what I'd like to say for now. Okay, you can go now, Junior. As you can see here, this turtle is very impressed by the discovery. Our next interviewer is Larry, which is apparently Junior's brother. So Larry, are you impressed with the discovery or not impressed with the discovery? I'm 100% impressed with the discovery. They have totally worked hard to find it. And even though they may have gotten trapped at one point, but they were able to escape and were able not to give up. Hmm, fascinating. So what else do you have to say about this? I say that Baby Shark and his friends should get a reward for their hard work on finding this rainbow rock. Hmm, that sounds more interesting. And that's what I want to say for now. Okay, you can go. Now, as you can see, these kids are like praising Baby Shark and his friends for their hard work. Our next interviewers are people you may know. They are called the Wonder Pets. So, can you three explain about this top news? Yes, we'd like to say a few things. We were the ones that actually help out Baby Shark and his friends get to get to Neptune. And that's because we train them for the dangers of space, and they have done extremely well in our training course. And we were able to keep keep things smoothly. Even if they got trapped or Toad and his friends tried to sabotage their mission. But we all make sure that never happened at all. But uh, it did happen. Well, it almost sabotaged the journey. And that's why we are very impressed with the six. That's all we want to say for now. Thank you, guys. As you can see, these are the three that helped out the six to find the, the Rainbow Rock. We need to say that three other people helped them out, and that's what I'm going to interview next, which are Unikitty, Puppycorn, and Lil Petey. Say three, what do you guys have to say about this? Well, we are extremely proud of our six friends. Their hard work and determination is what really helped them find the rock in the first place. And despite some obstacles getting in their way, they never gave up and just kept going until the rock was found. So how is it like to have your discovery being the top news so far? It has been a dream come true for us. We always wanted to make a huge discovery and have it being put on the front page news. And now, our dreams finally came true, all thanks to the six friends that we are happy we met a while back. So we are glad that we have become famous after finding this special rainbow rock, all thanks to Baby Shark and his fishy friends. That is all. Okay, you three, you can go now. Another interviewer I'll be interviewing is Toad. So Toad, can you explain about what you think of this? Yes, I would love to. I want to say that the Rainbow Rock has been the lamest and disgraceful discoveries I have seen in my entire life. Excuse me? That's right, I didn't want this discovery to happen at all because you're the kitty puppy corner little does not deserve to be famous at all. So that's why I'm proud to say that me and my friends were the ones that tried to stop Baby Shark and his friends from getting to Neptune in the first place. 
But unfortunately, we fail because of their determination and they end up deciding to stop us from getting to Neptune before we do something bad with the Rainbow Rock, blah, blah, blah. Well, I got something to tell you people, to the people that is watching this, I want to say that please do not listen to those six or the nine at all. We are better. Me and my friends are better than them. That is all. Okay then? Okay, I think you should go now. Okay, I'm done anyway. But listen to my face. I am better than these other ridiculous people. Got it? I am better than the other people in this city. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, moving on. Anyways, most of the people have stated in the names of the six kids that got that rainbow rock in the first place. But if you are confused or don't know who they are, we'll put up a picture and state their names. This is what the six looks like. Their names are Baby Shark Brooklyn, William Manta, Vola, Goldie, Hank, and Chucks. Speaking of the six, I'll be interviewing them next as they'll be the last interviewers of this news report. Alrighty, you six. Since you guys were the ones that found the Rainbow Rock, what do you guys have to say about this? About what is your experience up in space? Well, we gotta say, this has been an incredible mission that we have ever went on in our fishy lives. After the three told us about the thing on Neptune, we decided to accept their offer on going to outer space to find it. There were quite a bit of obstacles during the journey, such as getting trapped in a pile of moon rocks, and Toad and his crew trying to stop us from getting to Neptune. However, we never gave up and we just kept on going. And it was all worth it to find the Rainbow Rock and let our friends' dreams come true. And sure enough, it did. They are now famous and our discovery is now on the front page. So what do you guys have to say to the people that are watching this video? We want to say hello to our parents who are very proud of us for our hard work, and a huge thanks to everyone for all of the support you guys are giving to us in the theory. We are hoping that one day, maybe we might make another discovery in the future. We are not sure, but we shall see. That is all we would want to say. It's been nice interviewing with you six. You guys may now go. And that's all the interviews for today. As you can tell, all the people I interview except for one person, are impressed with the discovery. Reporting live from this street, I am Mr. Eric plus our news. Thanks Mr. Eric, as you can tell, many people are very interested in the discovery and are gaining their support on Baby Shark and his friends, including Yinder Kitty, Puppy Corn, and Lil Petey. We will keep you updated with more top stories soon. We will be back after this commercial break. <laughs>